Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss the important topic that is chronic bronchitis. It is one of the COPD that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In your university exam, you usually get a short or very short note, especially on the pathogenesis of chronic bronchitis. So let's start the topic that is one of the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is chronic bronchitis. So let's start it. So first of all, this is the first disease I am teaching you under COPD. So total four diseases we will cover under COPD that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So first I will let you know what is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, what is COPD and how many types of COPDs are there. One of the important COPD is chronic bronchitis. So we will start chronic bronchitis after that. So I will teach you all four COPDs in a fixed set of headings including chronic bronchitis. So first I will let you know the introduction, what is chronic bronchitis, what what is the location of obstruction in the entire respiratory tract? What is its etiology? What is the pathogenesis, types, gross, microscopy, most important and clinical features? So we will study the topic under these headings. So first I will let you know what is COPD and then we will start one of the important COPD that is chronic bronchitis. Okay. Now before understanding the COPD, you must understand the respiratory tract. So here is a simplified diagram I have tried to draw of the respiratory tract. The respiratory tract start with the nose, the nose and the mouth. So we inhale either with nose or with mouth. So nose, it is starting with the nose. Nose leads to nasopharynx. Okay, so this is pharynx. Pharynx leads to larynx. Larynx leads to trachea. And trachea leads to two primary bronchi, the right and the left bronchi. Okay, so you can see till now and after the bronchi, it divides into bronchioles. So this is nose. This is this is pharynx, this is larynx, this is trachea, it is dividing into the bronchi. The two bronchi, right and left bronchi, now it divides into bronchioles. So first the primary bronchioles are formed. Primary bronchioles give rise to secondary bronchioles. Secondary bronchioles give rise to tertiary bronchioles. Tertiary bronchioles finally give rise to terminal bronchioles. Terminal bronchioles give rise to respiratory bronchioles, then alveolar duct and finally alveolar sac. The alveolar sacs are the balloon-like structures you all can appreciate. The balloons are the alveolar sacs. So same story is written in front of you. So please learn this respiratory tract by heart. So starting from the nose, pharynx, larynx. So this is upper respiratory tract, nose, pharynx, larynx. It creates upper respiratory tract. And from trachea onwards, it's lower respiratory tract. So in lower respiratory tract, we have trachea, the two bronchi, right and left. Then the bronchioles. How many bronchioles are there? Primary, secondary, tertiary, finally terminal. Terminal leads to respiratory bronchioles. Then alveolar duct and finally alveolar sac. Please learn the complete respiratory tract if you want to understand COPD uh, in depth. Okay. Now, in this respiratory tract, the last three structures together known as acinus. The last three structures together known as acinus. So, respiratory bronchiole, alveolar duct and alveolar sac together constitute acinus. Acinus is the structural and functional unit of the lung. Like glomerulus is the structural and functional unit of the kidney, the acinus is the structural and functional unit of the lung. So, respiratory bronchiole, alveolar duct and alveolar sac together constitute acinus. This is the complete respiratory tract. The same story, the same thing is written in front of you, the respiratory tract. You can see, starting, the, we are talking about lower respiratory tract, not the upper. So, that's why I started with trachea. So there is trachea, trachea divided into the two bronchioles, the two principal bronchioles right and left, then the two bronchi, then the bronchioles. In the bronchioles, we have primary, we have secondary, we have tertiary, finally terminal bronchiole, then respiratory bronchiole, then alveolar duct and finally alveolar sac. As I told you, the last three structures together known as acinus. The same, you can see it here. So you can see the same here. You can see this is trachea, appreciate the trachea. You can see these are the two bronchi, the principal bronchi right and left and see the various bronchioles, primary, secondary, tertiary, terminal, respiratory and finally alveolar ducts and alveolar sac. So why God has provided us lungs. What is the function of the lungs? So we inhale, we exhale. What, how does we do so? For example, I'm inhaling. So the air in the atmosphere contains the oxygen. So it is pure air, oxygenated air, which I'm inhaling. So it is going in my nose. It's like this. So from nose, it's going inside, 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 like this. It's going completely inside. So from the nose, I'm inhaling the air. So it's going in my pharynx, it's going in my larynx, it's going in my trachea, in my bronchi, then in my bronchioles, primary, secondary, tertiary, terminal, respiratory, alveolar duct. So finally, whatever I'm inhaling, it is reaching here in the alveolar sac. So I'm having millions of alveolar sac in my lungs. Okay, all human beings have that. So whatever we are inhaling, the air is ultimately reaching the alveolar sacs, the balloon. Now, all the alveolar sacs are surrounded by multiple capillaries all around. Can you see? Alveolar sacs are surrounded by capillaries. The blood capillaries, these are coming from the, these are the pulmonary capillaries. 